Hello. Today for math, we are going to compare two fractions by locating them on a number line. Talia has two different lengths of blue and red ribbon. Does she have more blue ribbon or more red ribbon? So we can take a look at this picture and we see that her blue ribbon is two thirds of a yard and her red ribbon is one third of, the, of a yard. Now, some of you might be able to quickly say, I can compare those fractions because their denominators are the same. But let's find them on a number line too. So when I'm looking at a number line, you know I have to start with zero, right? And I have to end with one. So I have two thirds and one thirds. So this one is pretty easy because our denominators are the same. So we can take our, our number line and we can break it up into three equal parts. Between zero and one, we need three equal parts. So I know when I have three equal parts, I need to draw two lines. So I'm gonna draw one here and there. They're pretty, those parts are pretty equal, right? Then I can label them. We have one out of three parts right here. And we have two thirds. And then one would be three thirds, right? Numerator and the denominator are the same. Okay, so we're gonna use this star to represent our blue ribbon. She has two thirds of blue ribbon, so I'm going to find the that spot on the number line. Okay, and then she has one third of red ribbon, so I'm gonna go find that spot on the number line. Okay, now we're going to compare those two fractions. We have two thirds and one third, and we can compare those two. The blue star is further on the number line, so we know that the two thirds is greater than one third. So we can write that symbol in there, two thirds is greater than one third. Remember the alligator is eating the greater number. Two thirds is greater than one third. Let's try another one. Compare these fractions using a number line. Okay, now we have three fractions, okay? But we can still compare three fractions. We're going to put them on a number line first. So I see that our denominator is eight, eight, and eight. We have four eighths, three eighths, and six eighths. The denominators are the same for all three fractions. So that makes it pretty easy for us. We're going to take our number line and we're going to break it up into eight equal parts because our denominator is eight. Eight equal parts between zero and one, right? So I'm gonna draw seven lines. So first I'll draw in half. So that's one. I'll cut each of those in half again. And then those in half again. Okay. Now I have eight equal parts, right? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight equal parts. Now I have to find where these fractions are on our number line. So four eighths, where is four eighths? Use a different color actually. Four eighths, I know I'm going to make four jumps out of eight total. So one, two, three, four, here it is right here. Oh right, four eighths is equivalent to a half, so it's right in the middle. So four eighths. All right, now found that fraction. I'm gonna cross it out. I know I found it. Now three eighths. One, two, three. I'm gonna draw a nice dot right there. And here we have three out of eight. Three eighths. And then found that one. Now six eighths. So this is four eighths. I can just make two more jumps for five, six, and this is six eighths. Now, we've found all three fractions, we put them on a number line, we can easily easily say that the smallest fraction is three eighths and the largest fraction is six eighths. So we are going to write them just like that. I'm gonna move these down so we can see it a little bit easier. So, Three eighths is our smallest fraction. Three eighths is less than, next fraction would be four eighths. 
which is less than the next largest fraction is 6 eighths. 3 eighths is smaller, is less than 4 eighths, which is less than 6 eighths. All right, let's try one more together. Now this time we have three fractions again, but we're switching it up. These denominators are not all the same. I see we have three six, three fourths, and two six. Here, this four as a denominator is different than the six. So we have two number lines, okay? We're going to take these number lines and the ones that are the same, we'll put them on one number line, two six and three six, and then three fourths we'll put on another number line to figure out which one is equivalent. So we have, we're gonna set up both of our number lines so that zero and one are in the same spot. So that our holes are the same. Okay, so now let's break this first number line into six equal parts because we have three six and two six. So I'm going to break it in half to one. And then, so I drew my five lines. I have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. Okay, now let's plot these on the number line. Three, six. We have one, two, three. Three, six would go right here. Three, six. And I found where it is on the number line. I'm going to cross it out. Two, six. Okay, zero, one, two, six would go right here. Awesome. Now three fourths. We're going to plot it on the number line underneath. Okay, because this number line is broken up into six. Well, let's break up this one into fourths. Okay, so I know that I need four equal parts. I need to draw three lines. And let's find three fourths on our number line. One, two, three down here, three fourths. Now looking at these fractions, they all, these number lines, they all start at zero here, and then they end one here. Our holes are the same. We can easily compare all three of these fractions. The smallest fraction is two six, and then the next largest is three six, and then the next largest is three fourths. Let's take those and let's write them as one big comparison. We have two six is less than three six, which is less than three fourths. All right, now you know how to compare fractions using a number line. I want you to open up Pearson and try it out on your own.